video, I'm going to show you our language arts curriculum choices for this homeschool year of 21 to 22. At first, I actually didn't want to use the language arts from the good of me, the beautiful, but when I downloaded the course book and their spelling and writing workshop, I absolutely fell in love with this course book. And I showed it to my son and asked him if he wanted to do it. And he said yes, and he was excited because he absolutely loves the illustrations here and how the course is laid out. So what I did was just I downloaded their free course book and the spelling and writing workshop and then I ordered their readers because I felt like they're so generous already for giving this beautiful curriculum for free and I wanted to give something in return for for like for downloading the free course book so I went ahead and purchased the readers instead of printing them as well. I don't know if you've seen it but you can actually see the whole unit if you can just download it for free and we love it and we I cannot wait to start um this one with my fourth grader this year and so what i like about their level four language arts curriculum is that the spelling and writing is separated from the course book so i really like that because usually i believe uh their levels are the spelling and writing are together with the uh, main course book so i really like this idea that they made the spelling and writing separated from the course book. So this is our choice for the language arts curriculum and I'm going to move on with the others. Since language arts from the good and the beautiful is usually done four times a week, I decided to add workbooks for my fourth grader to do for the fifth day. So this is my choice for his grammar. This is Grammar Usage and Mechanics by Zainer Bloser. I think I pronounced it right. You can see a review or flip through of this book on my YouTube channel. I I will link this workbook and so you can just check the description box below. So I like it. You can only like do this for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then you're done because the lessons are usually short. It's just like two pages and that's it. So you have just to read the read and analyze, practice, apply, and then reinforce. So it's pretty short. That's what I really like about this grammar curriculum. For his reading comprehension, I chose Write Into Reading. It is a phonic-based reading and comprehension program. So in here, you can see that it is Phonic, it reinforced phonic skills. It is phonetically controlled. So most of the reading comprehension topics are um, about science or science fiction, uh, biography, adventure, and mystery. And then there are reading comprehension and critical thinking questions. And then there is also a directed writing activity. So this book actually reminds me of, um, what's that again? It's on the tip of my tongue and I just forgot. Yeah, okay. Explode the code and beyond the code merge into one. So I'm gonna show you inside of the book. All the illustrations in this workbook are in black and white. The same with the explode the code. So in here, for example, this is your lesson two. And then here. And then your comprehension. And then your writing. So the writing part is actually very easy. It's more like in creative writing than the structured writing. So in here, this is a sample of your comprehension. And then at the middle of it, there's going to be a checking out there just to see what you understood from what you were reading. And then the, um, the story will continue. And then again, there's going to be a check, checking up. And then the story is going to continue and then another and then they have writing so first it's going 
to start. The lesson is going to start with like the reading and some activities in here, which reminds me a lot of Expo Code. And then again, it's going to be a story. So, and then you're writing. So that's it. Mostly, it's all played out the same. So that's what it looks like. And I actually really like this one. I like the illustrations here too, even though they're in black and white. And then you got your teacher's key, which is just like the answers. I believe these workbooks are around $20. You can check them out from Christian Book or Rainbow Resources. And I actually really like it. They have from kindergarten level one, level uh, book one, book two, and book three. So for his handwriting, I didn't choose any handwriting curriculum because he still needs to improve his print. So we're gonna skip cursive this year. And I found that his handwriting improves while he's doing copy work. So I decided to get this book for him. It has volume one and volume two. There are 73 lessons in here. So what you have here is that you have your story. That's what I like about this one is that for each lesson, there is a story and then a short copy work. But sometimes it gets really short like this one. So for this one, I'm going to have him write it twice. And then the others, like for this a bit longer sentences, he just needs to write it once. So he's just going to do this every day. Uh, not every day, but like, you know, five times a week. So before we start, like with language arts or math, that's so what he's going to be doing. And then for volume two, I believe this one has the same, oh no, it has 74 lessons. Well, volume one has 73. This one has 74, and it's the same layout, a story and a copy book. Story and a copy book. So that's it. So this is what he's going to be doing for his handwriting this homeschool year. So these are the books that we're going to be doing for this homeschool year of 21. I feel really good about my homeschool choices for this homeschool year and I can't wait to start language arts. And I think he's really gonna love the choices that we made this homeschool here. So anyway, if you are interested in any of these curriculum, I'm going to link them down below. So you can just check that out. And again, thank you for watching and have a good day and have a great homeschool year. See ya.